Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on position vectors and vector addition using vector mode on the Casio FX991EX. We're going to be completing all of the questions in this video using vector mode on the calculator. Now you may find that it's simpler or more straightforward for you to do these by hand or perhaps just using calculate mode on the calculator. However, this is just another possible option for you. So I'm going to show you how to use vector mode to do these particular uh, vector questions. So let's take a look at the first one here. Given that, and we've got three vectors here, A, B, and C, and these are give, given as column vectors. And what we've got to do is we've got to find 5A, uh, and then 7A plus 5C for part B, and then part C, we've got to find a half A minus 3 over 2B plus 2C. Right, to access vector mode on the calculator, it's menu, and then we want to navigate down to 5 vector, press equals and the first thing we need to do is we definitely have to have at least one vector defined so it will prompt you to do that in the first instance let's start with vector a so we press one and we've got to input the dimension of the vector this is a 2d vector we've got two directions so we're going to press two and vector a we're prompted here let's input our vector for a that's nine and eight press equals each time to enter it and now we need to define the other two vectors as well, B and C. So it's option and then one for define vector. This time we're going to choose vector B. And once again, the dimension is two and we're going to input 11 and then negative five, press equals. And then option once more, one to define vector. And this time we're going to go for vector C. So again, two dimensions and it's minus one and minus nine as the inputs. We have all our vectors inputted into the calculator. We're going to do some vector calculations. So once again, it's option and then three for vector calc. Now for part A, we want five lots of vector A. So let's input that. I'm going to do five times and then option and then I can select and use vector A from this menu. So three to select vector A, and then press equals, and it's calculated for us five times vector A. So 45, 40. Part B, we've got seven A plus five C. I'm going to drop the multiplication sign on this one just to show you that it works without. So seven option and vector A, so that's three plus five lots of option and vector C, that's five. Press equals to confirm. And here we have seven A plus five C, it's 58, 11. And then finally the last one there, part C, a half A, so one half A. Notice how it's automatically in line input here in vector mode. So it's a half of vector A, that's option and three, minus, and then we've got three over two, three halves, of option vector b plus two lots of option and then vector c equals and here we have our answer for part c then negative 14 and negative 6.5 okay moving on to question two here we've got a triangle aoc with p dividing the line ac into the ratio seven to three and we're given that uh, the vector OA is 9i plus 14j. Notice that we've got i and j vectors this time, so not column vectors. The calculator will always input and work with column vectors, but provided that we can translate between the two, then we can use it for i and j vectors as well. And uh, the vector OC there is given as 4i. We've got to find the vector AC and the vector CP. So we need to change the vectors that are inputted into the calculator. I'm gonna show you two ways that you can do it. The second way is actually a little bit quicker. I'm gonna show you the slightly longer way first. So if we press option and then we want to change, well, I'm going to store OA in vector A, simply because it's the distinguishing letter between that and OC. So vector A is going to be our OA. So option, and then I'm going to go to define vector first. 
and then option one to define vector A. It's asking me for dimensions, so that's two still. In this case, all the questions in this video are two dimensional vectors. And then we want to change vector A to nine. Well, still nine I or nine in the X direction on here. And then plus 14 for the J vector. Okay, and we're going to define our second vector here option. I'm going to show you the other way this time. So it's quicker if we've got another two dimensional vector to press edit vector. So press two for edit vector. We'll put this one in vector C as it's the second letter on there. So OC is going to be vector C. Uh, straight away, we can change the numbers that are in here. So we're going to just change that to four I. So that's four in the X direction. And then we just need to input zero, zero J's for this vector. Right, we're ready to do some calculation. Now we need to find the vector AC. If we think about the triangle that we have here, how would we get from A to C? Well, we'd go in the reverse direction of vector OA. We'd go essentially from A to O, and then we'd go along the vector OC, so plus OC. So minus OA plus OC. So in other words, it's, well, minus the vector we stored in A plus the vector we stored in C. So that's C minus A. So what we need to input in our vector calc, so option and three is vector C. So that's option and five minus vector A. So that's option and three. And let's press equals to get our result. Here we have our vector. This will be the vector AC is negative five for the I and negative 14 for the J. So minus five, minus 14. Okay, let's think about part B then, the vector CP. That's this little section here, going from C to P, that's part way along the line AC. For this question, we need to perhaps think of it as CA. It might be better to think of it as that, uh, or that direction. Well, how far along? Well, we've got the ratio up here, seven to three. So we know that this is three tenths of the way along. So the ratio added together there, seven plus three is 10. So three out of 10 uh, represents this uh, proportion here that goes from P to C. What we can do is we can say, well, C to P is going to be three tenths of the vector C to A. And C to A is, is essentially going to be the negative of AC that we found in part A. So part A, if you remember, was vector C minus vector A. So C to A is going to be vector A minus vector C. So the um, negative of that. Uh, but we only want three tenths of it. It's only three tenths of the vector CA, the vector CP. So what we're going to start off with is inputting in three tenths. So remember, once again, it is in line input. I'm going to put a set of brackets around here, set of brackets. And then now we know that it's going to be vector A. So we're looking for vector CA, three tenths of CA, vector A minus vector C. Close the brackets and press equals. And here we have our answer. So it's 1.5i. This is how it's given it in decimal form in the actual vector at the top there in the answer line. We've got it in fraction form, so it's 3 over 2i down to the j vector. Well, that's 4.2 or 21 over 5j that we've got on there. So it's up to you, however you need to, to give that particular vector, whether it's decimal or fraction form. On to the final question then. We are given that vector AB equals 30i plus 50j and that the vector AC equals 45i minus 60j and we see a little triangle here representing that we've got to find the vector bc and also find the size of angle bac in degrees to the nearest degree so let's start off with part a find the vector bc we know information about vac vector ab and vector ac if we wanted to go from b to c use the vector bc it is in fact minus AB plus AC. So let's input these into the calculator first. Remember the easiest way is to uh, edit vector to change these. So it's option and then edit vector. And then I'm going to store AB in B this time as it's the distinguishing letter. And I'm going to change V. We still got that stored from part A there. 30I plus 50J. And then option and two for edit vector. 
we'll store a c and c let's override what we did for part b there so this is 45 i and minus 60 j and then we want to do some calculations so it's option and vector calc confirmed we're in vector mode there so find the vector bc we are going to do ac minus ab so that's c minus b vector c so option and five minus option and four and here we have our vector for bc it's 15i minus 110j and for part B there, we've got to find the size of angle BAC in degrees. So that is the angle that is essentially formed between vector AB and vector AC. That would be angle BAC. Now there is a feature to do this on the calculator. Uh, so we know we want the angle between AB and AC. So it's option. And if you scroll down, uh, we can see there's the facility here for angle. So press three open up a set of brackets now we want the two vectors that we want to find the angle between so the first one is vector a b which is stored in b vector b and then once we've got that there it's a comma so shift and right bracket to bring up a comma and then we want the other vector which is vector a c which is stored in vector c so option and five close your brackets and press equals and here we have the angle between the two vectors which is the angle b a c 112 degrees to the nearest degree there so there we go how we can use vector mode with position vectors and some vector addition there lots of other things that you can do with vector mode uh, it, and once again it's just a way that you can do vector calculations obviously you are free to do them uh, manually or use calculate to help assist you if you prefer if you find that quicker but it is an option for you. I think in particular, the angle feature there is very useful. It would stop you from, say, having to find the magnitude of the vectors and using the cosine rule in this case. So it's quite a useful feature to find the angle there between two vectors. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.